Can you start off with your first name, last name, where you're from? Uh, name's Corey Tate. I'm from Salem, New Jersey. And how long have you been playing basketball? I've been playing. Coming from high school, I didn't really have like that many offers or anything like that. So uh, when Goldie wanted me, I came here, it was a good school. Uh, I worked my way up my freshman year, started, and just like kept grinding, you know, like putting in hard work, working on my game, learning the ins and outs of college basketball, because it's a different level from high school, obviously. And prep school, I went to prep school after high school. For me, it's just fine tuning things, basically. like. Uh, Adding, adding some more little things to my game. Um, I know like there's, there's a lot of pressure, like, but it's okay. Like, there's gonna be a lot of teams out there who got their eye on me and you know, I'm the focus of their game plan or whatever, but it's okay. I got teammates that help me through that. So I'm not like just focused on me. Like whenever you're in a game and like the scouting report says like it's focused on you, like that's when you play through your teammates and you just let the game come to you. You don't gotta go force nothing or anything like that. I just let the game come to me playing since I can remember, to tell you the truth. Like, my older brother played, and I just wanted to do everything he did. So, he'll be at practice, and I'll just be on the sideline, just to win the ball. It starts with Corey Tate. Four-year guy, been phenomenal the last three years, player of the year in the conference. As everyone knows, he's one of the most talented players and guards in the country. He just brings it every day. Every day, he's, he's, he's not gonna complain. He's just gonna go hard and give, give it his all every time he steps out there on the court. Very unselfish too, as well, and just very humble guy, good guy, man, on and off the court. I, I wouldn't pick another player in the country over him. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got to up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball the days. I'm flipping the balls and flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. All record, all record. I still count wins when they got it. All record, all record. I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. All record, all record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. All record, all record. I still want to act, not the ghost. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, we ain't trying to grow any stone for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time to waste. Uh, I've been playing since since I can remember. I used to go to my brother's uh, uh, travel games. And I used to be little, just having the ball in my hand, dribbling on the side, watching them play. And as I grew up, like, my dad used to take me practice in the morning. Like he's instilled the practice in the morning times like every day in me since I was since I was young. We would get up eight o'clock when I was young, a little, go work out. And like a lot of people they wouldn't want to get up that early, you know what I mean? But it was always fun for me. Like I always loved the game. So I never thought of it as like, oh man, I'm getting up this early. Why can't I just stay home and like watch cartoons or something? I would just love to get up and go practice, go work on my craft. I'm trying to play overseas, play professionally overseas after I graduate from college. When I was young, I never thought about really playing in like the NBA or playing professional basketball overseas. I just wanted to play college basketball, that's it. I never really had the big dream. I never dreamt about playing professionally, you know? And so my sophomore year of college, I was thinking like maybe I should, I should try and pursue to play professional basketball. And uh, after I made that my goal, I'm just working hard to try to obtain that goal and achieve it. So I'm just trying to do everything I can this season to prove to everybody that I'm good enough to play and to earn a contract after I graduate and just see where that takes me from there. But when you get on the court, like, 
I think about it as take care of business. Like I'm trying to make this my job after I graduate from college, so I gotta take care of my business. I gotta take my job seriously, you know. So I can't have friends on the court, even though sometimes when I play against guys, I know them and they're my friends and stuff. But I gotta go out there and do my job first. And then after the game, we, you know, what I'm saying, cool like that, chop it up, whatever like that. But on the court, you gotta take care of your business first. And like I've always been taught that. You know, I just try to, I just try to stay focused, stay the state of course, know that every day is a new day to try and get better. And um, yeah, I go through, I go through a lot of like, you know what I'm saying, mental, mental things, mental things. My mind be running like, say like a day before a game, like, or a night before a game. I'm up all night sometimes just thinking about the game, anxiety and stuff like that. But I just try to calm myself, relax myself, and just say like, yo, you've been in, these situations a lot, you know what I mean? You play many games, thousands of games, like it's just, just treated like every other game, you know what I mean? But uh, I'm not gonna lie, I do get a little nervous and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, maybe people from like outside may not think that, but it takes a toll, you know what I mean? Sometimes people try to put pressure on you, but just handle it the best way you can and uh, just stay focused, stay grounded, stick to your, your principles and it'll be all right. Well, coming here, I felt that um, it was going to be a good, good place for me because it's a small campus. It's, a, it's more like a family campus, you know what I mean? I feel like everybody is my peers here. Everybody like wants the best for you and stuff. So I feel like that helped me a lot with uh, just being in a small school, being able to, to focus on what I got to do with my studies, my grades, and, and basketball and stuff like that. Throughout my years of college, now I'm a senior, like I figured that that, and I learned that that was the biggest part of being a college athlete is continuing to work on your game and, and, and work on your craft and stay in the gym. Because you can't just go on the court and dominate on the court without being in the gym, you know what I mean? And I learned that coaches will stay out there and help me work out on my game, stay in the gym with me and stuff like that. We'll watch film together to learn about my mistakes and what I did right, what I did wrong, what I could do better. Everything like that has just helped me to, to get where I am right now today. And I feel like um, it was just a good, it was a good place. This is a good place to, to exceed in what you want to do. You know what I mean? Some people, uh, they get awards like that, like play of the year and they get complacent, but I just try not to get complacent. You know what I mean, what drives me is me working out in the summertime, 6 a.m., 7.30, 7 a.m., in the morning, every day, all the time. You know what I mean? On weekends too. And that just drives me, that drives me during the season. Like when I'm tired or when I don't feel like going to practice or working on my game, working out. Like that, I just think about like all the time I put in over the summer, all the free time that I sacrifice and that I put in the work and that I'm gonna get whatever I deserve as long as you put the work in, you know what I mean? So that, that's what drives me the most. Me just thinking about all the hard work that I put in from my entire life in the summertime, everything. Uh, expect us to fight. Um, we're gonna fight regardless. We're gonna go out there and play hard, play for each other, and play to win. And hopefully those results in a conference championship, NCAA tournament, and uh, that's what we wanna do. While my brother was in high school, I just imagined myself playing in high school, playing in the gym, whatever like that, while I would be watching from the stands. So like, just from that on, like, I just love the game of basketball. Like, it's taken me to many places out the country. I played with a bunch of great guys. I've gained great relationships throughout basketball, I played for some great coaches. And it's just, I don't know where I would be without it right now. And I just owe it all to my, my dad and my brother, because they, Without them, I probably wouldn't have been playing basketball. They put the ball in my hands first. And I just loved it ever since. My dad and my mom and my brother, they come to like majority of my games. And they always, they're my biggest fans, but they're my biggest critics at that. They always tell me what I did wrong, things I did good, but what I can improve on and stuff like that. And since I was little, they always told me that. Since I was young, my dad used to take me to all my games, all my practices. He would just help me out because he's my biggest fan, and my brother as well. So they was just telling me that I played a good game. I stayed aggressive. They like to, they like to see me when I'm aggressive on the court and stuff, but uh, they said I played a good game and stuff, uh, just to keep it going.
just building, just building off of, off of last season, not just being satisfied with what my accolades of last season, just continuing, continuing to, uh, I guess, uh, lead the legacy. It's my last year, I want to lead the legacy for when I'm, I graduate and I'm done and I want my name to stay on this school, on this campus.